my soul family good afternoon to you hope you're doing well practicing self-care taking care of yourself hope you are well wherever you are okay i typically have already will have already posted by now but I, i've been in school all day <laughs> Literally, I've been in school all day. <laughs> Chosen ones, this is something that over the last couple of days, Holy Spirit had been challenging me uh, in a certain area. And I wanted to share it with you today. It's rather humorous. Um, but when you really begin to think about it, there may have been things uh, in your life in times past or maybe something present presently that challenged you that you just would rather not deal with those are the areas that holy spirit is a challenging i won't even say testing just a challenge kind of like a, a an easy prompt uh in those areas all right because I recognize that if there was an area that challenged me too, too much, I would just get someone else that really knew how to do it, to take care of it, or not that I couldn't do it, it's just that I didn't really want to put in a lot of effort. Chosen ones, this is something that is a truth. You're going to be doing things that you didn't do before. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're going to be uh, accomplishing things that you didn't accomplish before. You're going to be going into areas that you refuse to go in before. Not that you were afraid to go into them or that you didn't think you could complete the task. It's just that you just would rather not do it. Okay? But because there's so much favor that is being handed to us, um, in the atmosphere right now, it is so charged, okay, with new opportunities. So we can't slumber and sleep over the preparation and just getting ready. I remember um, one of the areas that um, has always been a challenge for me is anything that has to do with um, technology. And I'm not saying like phones, laptops, because, you know, I use them on a regular basis. Things such as automation, integration, things that you would use maybe for your business websites, things like that. I would always get someone else to take care of that. <laughs> for real. Because, I mean, just five minutes of looking at it and seemed like my anxiety level, which I'm, shoo, I'm like, okay, I can't do this. It's not that I couldn't do it because anything I set my mind to do, I could actually do. I just didn't want to do it. And because there's so many things happening right now in my life that are creating new opportunities, the timelines that I am on to produce and to continue to create because I know I have a greater mission may not allow for me to find someone else to do it for me. Some things I can get done quickly if I just learn how to do them. So today I've been in school. <laughs> All day I've been in school trying to get this integration right because I want to make sure I have automation for my webinars. Um, speaking of my webinars, Chosen Ones, I have two coming up in September, one on Monday, September the 5th, Conscious Relationships and Creating Conscious Relationships. I have capped off that webinar at about 45 people. I like smaller groups, so I tend to um, keep the group small so that if there are any questions, I am able to answer those questions. So if you'd like to register for that webinar, the PayPal link is in the description box of this video, along with the second webinar that's on the 10th, if I'm not mistaken, at 11 o'clock, Healing Religious Trauma, okay? <clears throat> so I was challenged, okay? Holy Spirit said, so you, you, you need to learn this. 
So today I've been kind of one-on-one -on -one with um, someone that really understands it. And she's been so patient with me. Bless her heart. She needed patience with me. <laughs> I've come a long way since about 8 o'clock this morning. <laughs> but we still have a little bit to go. And uh, I didn't want to wear her patience thin. I really didn't. I was very grateful uh, for her just taking the time to kind of help me fine tune. Because if I can learn how to do it, you understand? I didn't want her to do it for me. I wanted to learn how to do it. Chosen ones, we are learners. We are. And we're not afraid to learn. You might need to learn something new in this new era, this new paradigm of you becoming self-sufficient, maybe moving away from working a job to, to doing your business full-time. That is my goal to move away from um, doing my business part-time and moving into doing it full-time into becoming more self-sufficient. So I'm learning some new things. I'm challenging myself and I'm laughing at myself, chosen ones, because I'm funny, all right? I'm a funny student. <laughs> I wanted to share that with you today, chosen ones. Don't be afraid to move into the challenges. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For challenging me, okay, to really remind myself, even in the frustration, okay, I didn't walk away from it. I didn't. I, we, we took breaks. I was like, girl, I need a break because, honey, right now, my head is smoking. <laughs> my head is smoking, all right? My brain cells are spinning, all right? But I wanted to make sure that I stuck to it. Chosen ones, we are in a very pivotal time. And I'm telling you the amount of abundance that is coming toward us. I know you feel it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The amount of open doors that are being placed before us. We cannot afford not to be lifelong learners. And to, even when we're challenged, you might get a little frustrated when you're learning. But keep learning, keep pressing, because there's a bigger picture. We have a bigger mission. We have a bigger goal. Okay? All right. I want you guys to have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Um, take me a little break, and I guess I'll be chugging along uh, through, throughout the rest of this evening. I may run out. I may not, because when I get focused on something, I want to get it done. <laughs> I, want, I want to accomplish it, you know, so... If you want to register for those uh, two webinars, go ahead. and it is uh, just the month of September. Actually, from from September onto the end of the year, my all of my webinars will be half the price that they typically are. Um, typically, they're between sixty five and eighty. Um, they're at forty now. So, um, is if if it's something you really want to delve into really receive um just not just from me but even from those that participate in the webinar just to gather with the chosen ones go ahead and register for either one of those classes they are coming up next week i am going to try to get on a regular schedule with my webinars it, try to build up at least to maybe four or five classes a month okay just on different topics for the chosen ones because this is a time of educating ourselves also sharing our knowledge one with the other okay so listen i want you to have a fantastic day i'm going i, I it's like almost what four o'clock in the afternoon uh well 3 30 in the afternoon here in texas i think i'm i'm gonna drink me a cup of coffee coffee doesn't make me hyper or excited it actually does the opposite i don't know if it's just my body makeup but it relaxes me and so after being in class all day <laughs> i think i need to relax just a little bit before i start chugga lugging <laughs> all over again listen i love you want you to love yourself more than me and i'll see you next time toodles <laughs>